Hey, Buck Run, we're back again to talk about ways to love our neighbor. We always want to be doing that in, as a church, and especially right now, as there's lots of, of unrest and lots of different ways that we can serve other people, we want to encourage you as a church to be out loving your neighbor. And today, to help us with a practical way to do that is our worship pastor, Adrian. Adrian, what's a way that we could love our neighbor this week? Great question. So uh, Matt has put together this really helpful card for us. And it's always good that we're reaching out to our neighbors, um, but now is an especially urgent time to do that, um, to make those connections in a safe way. Uh, but this card is great. It has, I don't know if it's kind of glary, I don't know if you can see it, but we'll put it up on the screen for you. Uh, but it has a place where you can fill out your name, where you live, and your cell phone number for a call or text. Um, I live in an apartment complex, so this would be really helpful and easy for me to just drop on the doorstep of apartments nearby. Uh, even if you live in a larger neighborhood, uh, just walk a little bit down the block, stick one of these in your neighbor's door. And it just has some information on here. It says, if you are self-isolating due to COVID-19, I can help with, then it lists some things you can do, picking up groceries, uh, urgent errands, things like that, and even just prayer. And then it shares some scripture and an invitation for them to watch our live stream on Sunday mornings. Um, you know, this doesn't have to apply just to your elderly neighbors. I think we would all be surprised at how many of our uh, neighbors are immunocompromised, how many of them are at high risk right now for this disease, uh, and they may not look the way that you think they look. And uh, even if they aren't, they may just be scared and just need someone to pray with them. Anxieties are running high, and uh, as the Church of Christ, now is a great time for us to engage them and to point them to that hope. And it's also a great time for us to just meet some really basic physical needs. So this is a really helpful tool. We will link to it on the website where you can get this. And uh, you can just print these off, fill out your information, and drop it on a doorstep. And um, I'm, I'm pretty confident we'll make some real connections through these cards. Yeah, I'm excited to see how the Lord will use a simple act of obedience from us in using a simple sheet of paper to love our neighbors. I want to encourage you as you do this to take all appropriate safety measures. Don't be right up on their door when you're giving them groceries. Just drop things off at the door. Uh, use gloves. If you're at all sick, if you're immunocompromised, um, if you're a higher risk, according to the CDC, this is not the thing that you should participate in. Um, but, but take steps to help those people feel comfortable and uh, a way to minister to them that we pray would lead to eventually a gospel connection or conversation. So I want to encourage you, love your neighbor this week.